Welcome to the testing laboratory. Laws. Please go to the sterilization chamber. Stand on the mark and do not move. Stay still until the process is finished. Access granted to the testing facility. You are allowed to proceed. Hey Lars, I'm NOC. I'm Carl, we met during training. I see you already found the regulatory globes. Remember, your security clearance is built in, so you won't be able to go anywhere without them. Well, I've been assigned to guide you through today's test. We have a busy day ahead of us, so let's get to the testing area and I will brief you on the way. Today's task is to check how the energetic and teleport properties of the Yastra meteorite behave in a neutral environment. You won't believe what the engineering team has managed to do with that little piece of rock. By the way, congratulations! I heard your daughter has been accepted into the MIT Physics PhD program. You must be thrilled she's following in your footsteps. Before you know it, she will be working alongside you. I am still amazed with what they have done in here. The first time I saw it, I couldn't believe my eyes. One word of advice though. Remember to follow the security guidelines. And above all else, do not touch the meteorite core of the cube. That is, of course, unless you actually want to know what lightning strike feels like. energy generated by the meteorite fragment can actually power up multiple devices. You should see the new applications back in the lab. They are really something else. Lars, keep in mind that you have to mark the cube before being able to teleport it from anywhere. At least now the transfer is complete, but you would not believe where we used to find the cubes. We even found a cube in the kitchen once. The chef didn't know what it was, and it used it as a table for a week while the engineers were looking for it. The restricted area used to be a joke. We had cubes appearing everywhere.
Well, that should be all for today. Good job, Mars. A full report is expected by Monday. Lars, please proceed to the testing area. Lars, please proceed to the testing area. Hey Lars, Carl here. Did you forget again that we had a test schedule for today? Man, you've been engrossed since the latest breakthrough when you made the discovery about the magnetic and gravitational properties of the meteorite. Is this about your daughter? Don't worry, she graduated summa cum laude and she has been granted a research scholarship to work alongside you. I'm sure she'll be here next month. We should focus on the test. Just remember the principles of magnetism and you'll be fine. Lars, your gloves were modified to influence the meteorite properties. I will, I will activate its capability remotely when you need it. The first tests were, were made to check the gloves functions. Even a child could do it. This is elemental physics. It's the same polarity will repel the magnets and the opposite will attract them. That is a true fact. Have we had to add additional security measures as for some accidents with the venture to treat the scientists? Please make sure the animals are objective to do it.
Who would have thought that a tiny piece of rock could counteract the force of gravity? At least we can control it now. I cannot begin to imagine the power of a bigger fragment. This is the last test until your daughter gets here next month. Perhaps you could do the next one together, so she can get her bearings. Are you still at the lab, Lars? I thought you would be getting ready for your daughter's arrival. She's almost here. Why don't you go to the hangar and wait for her? Lars, wait. I'm getting some weird readings in the meteor chamber at the lower level. I'm sorry, man, but you are the only one around the area. Would you mind checking it out? 
I I'm sure your daughter won't mind waiting for that weather. These readings are definitely not normal. It seems that the meteorite is overloading the system. We should start the auxiliary generator just in case. Uh, the controls are in the central console. I'm getting an incoming transmission. It's from your daughter's shuttle. I will link it to you. Hey dad, we are about to land and I can't wait to see you again. Gosh, it's been too long. Are you still gonna pick me up? Lars, the fragment has begun to leak large quantities of energy and it is about to break the contention field. You need to hurry up and start the emergency procedures or I don't know what could happen. Run. The console is right in front of the rock. There is no time to lose. Oh! 